Happy N7 Day. My name is Jake and I'm here with John Luke. If you haven't noticed by now, there is a new Mass Effect trailer. In fact, there are a couple new Mass Effect trailers, but we're going to break down the story one that was revealed earlier today. Uh, so let's get into this. Yeah. So I'm going to stop you right at the first frame here so we can just kind of set the stage for what's going on. What, what we saw from the other Andromeda Nif Initiative trailer is that there are three arcs that have been sent to the Andromeda Galaxy in order to find new planets. Based on that trailer, it sounds like of the three each, kind of focuses on a different race. There's one of human, and then from there maybe one Salarian, because we do see Salarian later in the yep. trailer. And then Asari probably, but Turians are also supposed to be in this game, so well, there's also sure. There's also a, a fourth ship thing. It's like way bigger uh, than the others, and that um, in that other trailer, the head of the initiative said that she and everyone else will be on that one. So that okay. could be, be like, and then a mix of other people could just be on that. And this one in particular, this human one that we know is called Hyperion. Yep. But as you can see, so even though this is probably Hyperion, the human one, there are Asari on it as well. Yep. And this up, the timeline, they, it's supposed to take place 600 years later, like everyone goes into cryostasis and wakes up 600 years later outside of the Andromeda Galaxy. In the website, they say that it takes place in 2185. That actually is during Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2 takes place during that time, and Mass Effect 3 takes place in 86. So this implies that they did all this before the Reapers came and started the whole Reaper War in Mass Effect 3, which is interesting. And I wonder if that is actually maybe the motivation for why this is happening. And then here we see a character flying out of the airlock, it looks like. Great. Yeah, pr pretty sure it's Ryder. Yeah, the white suit seems to be Ryder. So there he is again. Yep, and uh, one thing I noticed is the aesthetics of this helmet, uh, like the glowing yellow eyes, kind of reminds me of the Cerberus helmets from 3. Uh, I don't know if that's maybe just a coincidence yeah, or not. Yeah, it could kind of make sense though, right? Because also in that timeline, it said that the this initiative was privately funded. Yeah. And Cerberus probably, I'm sure, had a hand in that. That um, would make but sense. But whether or not that would affect the mask is probably, we're looking a little too much into it. All right, so here we got Ryder. That's a beautiful shot of... Oh, yeah. I'm not a fan of the look of uh, the male Ryder character. You can change him, obviously. Uh, sure. But just the generic look I'm not into. But this planet looks stunning. And then here we also see the logo for the Andromeda Initiative. And that's the Tempest right there. Yep. I don't really... This is the only time they show it, really, yeah, in the and trailer. It seems pretty likely that you will be flying that based on the other trailer that they released and, of course, dozens of leaks. <laughs> All right, this right here is... Uh, probably the bridge for the Tempest. I'd say so. I mean, it looks a lot like the one that was shown in the E3 2015 trailer. Yep. And then right here, it looks like we have a new species of some sort. Some people in the office were saying, oh, it could be Vorture, it could be Turian, but I don't think so. I don't think you think so either. I think no. this is definitely a new species. And uh, if you notice on the neck, their skin seems to be merging with their armor, which implies some sort of like cybernetic enhancements, uh, merging of like technology, similar to like how the collectors kind of were in Mass Effect 2. Okay, so here we got our four characters they kind of show throughout the trailer. Uh, one of them's Ryder, one of them is Female Ryder, which would be the other character you get to play as. Uh, one of them is the Asari. And then we have a fourth uh, male human. You kind of brought up the idea that this maybe could have four player. Yeah, so I was thinking since this time there, whether you pick male or female Ryder, the other one is still going to be with you. So I was thinking maybe uh, pretty much in all the missions, you know, it's Ryder male, Ryder female. Mm and then you pick your two squad mates, making for a total of four. I'm not sold on this, because there's some other shots later that clearly show that there's only three people in a squad. Mm -hmm. I want to float an idea by you. On the specs for the Collector's Edition, it mentions one to four player multiplayer. Oh, actually, yeah, Does, that is... Is that referring to a Mass Effect 3 style multiplayer, or is that referring to a cooperative multiplayer? I mean, seeing four there it would make sense for a cooperative multiplayer, but... I don't know if I'd want that. I don't want I, that either. I would definitely not do I, that, but I, that is would be interesting. What multiplayer will do, this is obviously all speculation, but I think there will be certain missions that you can do cooperatively. Oh, interesting. Deck. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That would be my guess. I don't know. A lot of stuff to break down in this one. Let's get the big one out of the way. That kind of looks like maybe a Leviathan from Mass Effect 3, which is the species that the Reapers are based on. It's kind of my theory. I personally, I... I hope it's not a Reaper. I don't think it's a Reaper, but you do bring up some good points. Uh, and I know you don't want it to be a Reaper either. Nope. No, I don't. But there are some striking similarities <laughs> with that. Uh, another thing to note is the uh, Tempest machine gun on the guy's thigh on the right, a uh, reoccurring gun from Mass Effect 2 and 3. In the middle, uh, Ryder has a modified version of the M6, which is the iconic Mass Effect rifle. In the ARC breakdown trailer, they show like a bunch of weapons, and they showed the Carnifix, but they also showed uh, what looked like a different version of the M6. Oh, and okay. They actually did not label it, so I wasn't entirely sure what it was, but I'm like, that 
kind of looks like the M6, but like different. And then you also notice something else in this, which is almost a little Easter egg, I'd say. Yeah, they have a, this exploding canister here is uh, the exact same model from two and three, which you would shoot in combat. There's not a whole lot to say about this shot, other than the fact that it just shows that the cutscenes this time around have a lot more range to them. Like there's so much more animation detail and you see male and female rider together yeah. at sort of a maybe heartwarming or touching scene, although she looks injured. All right, right here we have the uh, same alien that we saw before and uh, some sort of new weapon. On the right, you can kind of see sort of the face, but they're, they're doing a pretty good job blurring it. Like they, they seem to want to keep the reveal of these creatures hidden. And we think this is probably the same type of alien from earlier. Yep. Yeah. And here's where things get interesting. Yeah. Okay. So we got this N7 guy who's been in all the promotional material for the game, but uh, Bioware said is not Ryder. And it's clearly a different person because later on we see them with uh, somebody who's probably Ryder. And as in Ryder, the main character, though. As in Ryder, the main character. And that's why I want to bring up because on the box, it shows uh, the N7 guy. And on his helmet is sketched uh, the word Ryder. It's like carved into it on the side. So you have two theories. I have, yes, I have two different two theories. theories. So the, and the second theory can actually still work with the first theory. The, so the first theory is that this is Ryder's dad. And that is something they have brought up before, right? That the voiceover in the Andromeda Initiative teaser was Ryder's And dad. the opening of this teaser as well. And the opening of this te teaser. Uh, so then leaning into that is my theory is that uh, they they are the Pathfinder. They, they mention how each arc has a Pathfinder who is a uh, person of like significance, um, you know, like a combination of a soldier, scientist, and that Ryder becomes the new Pathfinder, which makes sense for kind of that gives your character the leeway to sort of explore and that uh, they are the old Pathfinder and maybe they die and that you take their place and maybe take their armor. You have to get this armor at some point in this game. Yeah. Like it is such an iconic armor. There is no way you will not wear the N7 armor at some point. I think that is his dad. I don't think he dies though. At okay. least not right away. Like I don't think he died at the beginning and then you get or you become Pathfinder. I think they're going to let that ride out a little bit. So right here we see them uh, in the background that is probably Ryder, it's just got the same armor, and they're doing something. This is clearly a, maybe not the same area, but a similar type of area as we saw in that PlayStation. Reveal. Yeah, it looks very familiar to that. And then the, so I don't know what these are. The, I don't know. They look like they could be Corian or something like that, although I don't think that's it. I don't know, I think it's a new race. I don't think it's one we've seen so far in this trailer. I think it's just a new, a new race. I agree. And then, yeah, I think it looks like a Reaper. I hate to say it. I think it looks like a Reaper, but I don't think it is a Reaper. Maybe it's just me holding on, holding on hope. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to be a Reaper. Okay. So this this is important. I think this is one of the coolest shots of the trailer because this looks like gameplay. Yep. And not only does this look like gameplay, but this looks like wild gameplay. Like, look at the scope of this thing. Yeah, that is insane. We were kind of speculating on what this thing is. Uh, you brought up like Horizon Zero Dawn, sort of like it's it's almost like yeah. this technological wild creature maybe yeah i'm curious if it's sentient or if it's controlled by someone or if it's just like you landed on a planet and you stumbled across this i doubt that mm -hmm. you met on the box it also or on the leaked box it says destructible environments right so it could be kind of cool to see this thing just wreck town like through <laughs> totally <laughs> through planets yeah and then you're also holding uh two different weapons that we haven't seen before that look like alien new alien weapons as well which is cool and then here we go. This is kind of back where we had three squad members. That's why I'm not sold on having four. Here it looks like male writer, female writer, and then the, the other character. I mean, it's entirely possible just the Asari is just out of frame. Could be that too, yeah. So this here is also clearly in game as well. Uh, as, as far as it looks like you're playing it, uh, you're being attacked by some sort of drone, uh, similar to what we saw in the PlayStation trailer. And then right here, these are Solarians. Solarians. So first Solarian sighting. I think this is like, other than uh, Asari, this is like the first sighting of an alien from. Totally. Uh, we from we have seen trilogy. Krogan in some of like the tech demos. Yeah. All right. And then we got this guy here who's clearly the antagonist is kind of my theory. We were sort of saying he, they seem to be going for more of a Saren vibe is kind of what I'm getting off of this guy. Sort of a singular antagonist that you will be facing. Yeah, and I also think this is a different kind of alien too because if you looked at the one before who we saw his back, you didn't see this sort of ring thing around his head. Uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe it just could be a different variation of the same alien, but I kind of don't think so. I think this is, this is your villain and he's gonna be very different. Yep, and that is the trailer.
And then they mentioned that they're going to show the first gameplay reveal at the uh, Game Awards 2016. So that is the Mass Effect Andromeda trailer. If there's anything you noticed that we missed, let us know in the comments below, or you can find us on Twitter. And for more on Mass Effect, stay tuned to GameSpot.